At the University of Massachusetts, Julius was disempowered by the NCAA, since his most intimidating weapon, the dunk, was prohibited. Only those who had seen him play unchained at the Rucker knew what he could deliver. Everybody wanted to be Dr. J. He was one of the first black males in the culture where white fathers said to their children, I'd like you to be like Julius Irving. See this guy, I can see him in slow motion going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. There wasn't anything like this. And if you loved basketball, you had to love this. He was just special, like no one else. Julius Irving, look at that move behind the back. Dr. J, he was one of my favorite players ever. Dr. J. Dr. J was the first <laughs> league ambassador. I love Dr. J. He's one of the top three iconic he figures is. in basketball history. Good evening, everyone. About to bear witness to one of the most spectacular events in professional basketball, the slam dunk contest. Dr. J measured off on the foul line, then went back to midcourt. He took off running with those short shorts, and his afro was blowing in the wind. Serving, it was uh, like the first Michael Jordan, you know, the way he was dunking and doing all those crazy moves. I've seen young Mike and young LeBron. Dr. J is still my favorite player. I think Dr. J legitimized flamboyance. No longer could the NBA say, oh, this is just a bunch of street guys with their silly red, white, and blue ball and their three-point shot. Hey, deal with it. This is Dr. J. You got anybody better? I welcome with open arms to the door of the team. Thank you very much. My pleasure to be here. Great to have you with me. The doctor had finally arrived in the NBA. Let me just describe him as the Babe Ruth of basketball. I want to see Julius Irving more than I ever wanted to see any athlete in my life. Because you'd heard so much. And he was supposed to be so different. Show us. Show us. How good are you, really? Which is the all-time greatest move I've seen. 